There's so many people. Yeah. <laughs> Bottle of water there. This one, just two short. Okay. Okay, everybody. From um, obviously, there's a lot of people. If we can uh, be fair to Luke and keep it quite brief, each place. Thank you. Any more devices to come in? We're good. Okay. Thanks, Josh. Luke, many congratulations. I think we're all lost for words after that. Have you got any to describe what you've just done? No. <laughs> it's not even sunk in yet. 16 years old, into the World Championship final. Have you even surprised yourself by what you've achieved here? Definitely have. Uh, my three big averages on the floor and all on the floor all year round, so I'm just happy to bring them up, up on to the biggest stage of them all. And for the first time in this event, you went to sit down tonight, but the way you bounced back to be perfect, what does that say about you as a character? I just just pointing to my family, my friends. It's only one set. It's only the first set. And um, Rob missed 86 to go two 0 up. Maybe that would have changed things, but I dug deep and won that set and also won the game. And you're creating global headlines every time you play here. It doesn't seem to affect you. I mean, what what are you doing? Here? <laughs> <laughs> just got just got to stay focused. Just got to be got to be Luke Littler and just relax and yeah. And you're one game away now from creating one of the most incredible stories in sporting history. Is it your destiny you feel to lift this title? Be be unbelievable. Like I've only I only set my goals to win win one game and come back after Christmas and I'm still there. Just try and put into words what it would mean for you to lift that famous Tidbell trophy tomorrow night. I can't even imagine myself yet. I've just got to see who I play tomorrow and beat whoever's in front of me. Congratulations. Thank you. Congratulations. In the build up to this tour, you spoke about winning one game. Now you're one game from Bart's immortality, joining the likes of Phil Taylor, Randy Melbourne, Michael Van Gogh. Can you quite take that in yet? It's just unbelievable. Unbelievable to even think I'm in the final, like you said, just to win a game and come back after Christmas, and I'm still standing. 16 years old, as everyone keeps saying that, but how do you stay so composed in these moments? Because it's maturity beyond your years. That's, that's what I've got to do. I've got to stay mature, I've got to, got to be myself and got to keep myself to myself. Thank you. Luke, that first set, you lost the first end. It's the first time that's happened in this tournament. How was the mentality after that? Just, just win the next one. And obviously you're seeing I could have gone two down, but I dug deep and got the next one. And I always have a routine of staying on for the first two sets on the board and then going off to the break. Talked about there being a few nerves or little nerves up on that stage. How do you think it's going to be tomorrow and just the biggest game of your life? So it's like to, today was first to six, tomorrow's first to seven. So don't really, I shouldn't be getting nervous in case I get to the end. So if I am, if I am a set away, then I might be thinking, but I just got to just got to stay composed and try and get over that line tomorrow. Thank you. What's been your pre-match routine? What's been your name? What's the secret of everyone? Just don't I don't wake up till twelve, and then I go out for some dinner, come here, have some tea, and get get back on the board. And, and I mean, you're, you're now a role model for sixteen year olds everywhere. What's your message to the kids in this world about their GCSEs? <laughs> well, I don't have any GCSEs. Everyone's probably got more than me. In fact, I did pass me sport. <laughs> but, yeah, um, look, young, dark, young dark players, hopefully they do look up to me. And if you, if you do practice, then you could be where I am. Well, your match is brilliant. Yeah. Do you have a sort of stand? What numbers am I going to do now? It just comes naturally. Just naturally. I weren't, weren't the best at maths either. But it's just when you practice that much, then you, just, you do start to get used to what to go for and what to set up. Luke, what will you do now tonight? How will you prepare and go back and eat something now or have something to drink and just find simmer down and just calm down? Just do the same thing every night, have some food in the hotel and just chill. Luke, how much do you owe, how much do you owe your parents for your success? Hmm? How much do you owe your parents for your success? Nothing yet, I've still got another game tomorrow. <laughs> I mean, so far? <laughs> yeah, um, obviously, they know, they know I've... I've like what they've done for me they've brought me to brought me to this table brought me to this starting scene so I'll thank them enough and if we do get over the line then something will I will give them something for the people back in Warrington who will be supporting you to the ceiling tomorrow have you got a message for them? just continue the support I, I, I love it obviously you've got Matty Ashton and Josh Fulis down from the Warrington Wars it was good to see them obviously I, I look up to them as well I'm a Warrington fan watched them week in week out so it was good to have 
two lads down today from the club. Thank you, congratulations. <laughs> average over 105 three times this tournament. To put that into perspective, again, Brian Stanley Goldberg's son, five times in 10 years, James has like, never done that. Do you realise just how special you are and what you're doing at this club championship, not just in where you've come, but the performance of this club, isn't it? Well, like I, I always said, I stick to the routine that I'm always doing. And I say, whatever Luke Clutter turns up, he turns up. And so far, it's been so far so good in this tournament. Is there any more to come? Can you get even better than what you've shown us already? If I can, then it is to be. But I'll just be happy to stay in the high 95s to a ton like I have done. You're accused of that. Thank you very much. <coughs> you want to know a special coming tomorrow? Have you had anyone, any more family members as well? Just... There's people who have been down every day, they're just going to be down, yeah. Just in terms of specific preparations for the meal, you mentioned the team you're having a moment, is there anything specifically you've been going to just help them carry you through the That's what I had on the first night, and then I won that game and just continue. Don't, fi don't fix it if it's not broke. Is that the exact same thing? Yeah. Thank you. Um, not really. I've beat three former world champions. And whoever wins out of Luke and Scott, then it is to be. I've just got to beat whoever's in front of me. Can you tell us who is here to support you today? Um, my mum and dad. Uh, and then my mum and dad's friends. Mum and dad's friends from Spain as well. So even people coming from Spain, it's just crazy to have extra support. What does it mean? It's unbelievable. Not, it's not even sunk in yet. Thank you. Do you feel that your age, your youth, has become an advantage in the competition? Well, if this World Championships have got nothing to lose, it's just a just a free hit for myself, and here I am still standing at the World Championships. As the youngest player in the competition, how do you handle the pressure of the game? There's just there's no pressure. Like I've said, it's my first my first time being here, and I'm still here, so it's just. I just take it in my stride and take it game by game. During the match, did you employ any special uh, tactics or strategies? No, just keep it keep it the same. Go off the go off after two break two sets. Go off after four and then five and seven. Just keep it keep what I've been doing. Thank you. Look, what's the What's the craziest thing about the last weeks? We started here with uh, like uh, five journalists, <laughs> now all these uh, cameras. It's just it's crazy. Like I said, I'm still standing, and there's a lot more people there, so it's just it's crazy. What's the craziest thing uh, in the last weeks? You uh, uh, came to uh, like a message or something? Is there something in your mind that pops up? It's just obviously I've got a lot of followers now. I've had a message off Luke Shaw from Manchester United, Rio Ferdinand, and I had a message off Gary Neville and Johnny Evans before my game against Barney, I think. So it's just crazy. It's people who I've looked up to, and especially my, my club, Manchester United, wishing me luck. Thank you. Hello. <laughs> I've just got to believe in myself, believe in my own ability, and so far it's so good. Thank you. Luca, which was the most difficult moment during the tournament so far for you? I don't think there's really been anything difficult. I've lost my first set of the first get of the first set today, and I've I fought back and got over the line. I don't think anything's no disrespect, but I don't think anything's been difficult to me. Obviously, if, if quite a few sets went three two three two, but I've just dug in. Thank you. Is this just you handling the pressure, or is this because for, because everything's new? I've just got to, just got to handle it myself. Mm -hmm. My friends, my family, my manager, they just say, just relax. That's all I've been doing all tournament. Do you believe in fate? Fate. Do you believe in fate? Do you believe it's you're fated to win this world title? No. <laughs> I wouldn't have thought I would. Didn't even think I would reach the reach the final. I just wanted to win a game and come back after Christmas and no goals have been set so I'm not even going to set a goal to win it. Okay, all right, all right everybody. Thank you all. Thank you. 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 All good.